Hi, today we are going to make an enemy chase the player and attack them using Uni. This process is very simple and fun, so let's get right on with the video. So in the last episode, we created an enemy model and create a sphere around the enemy so we can detect the player. Now let's use that script output to decide our action for our enemy. So firstly, let's create a script called enemy system so we can start dealing with the output that we get from the other scripts. So let's name this enemy system. Hit enter to create it and let's wait for it to open up. Now that we have our script open, we want to take the steps the following to create the enemy. First, we want to get the output from our player detection that we created in the last episode. And then, if the player is found, then we want to make the enemy look at the, the player. And so, and finally, if the player is out of the enemy range, then the enemy will proceed to get closer to the player or move closer to it. So first, let's modify our player detection script a little bit. So let's create a public static public bool variable named found and let's set it to false. And so if we found our player instead of print det player detects, we can say found equal true. And you can also use the private dot void on trigger exit, which if the player doesn't touch the sphere anymore, so the enemy will start chasing the player. So let's say found equal false and let's keep making our script. So to, let's go back to our enemy system script and let's delete the start method for now. And now we want to get the player detection from. So now let's create our if statement. So if our player detection script dot found, which is the variable that we created, is equal to true, or we can just write it like this. We want to do so. Let's so we want to say look at the player. Let's create a new variable named look at. So bool look at equal false. So if we found the player, instead of look at the player, we want the look at variable to equal true. And then down here, if look at is equal to true, then we want to start the enemy to start looking at the player. So by doing this, we use the transform dot look at function which you can see right here we need to have a target for it to look at which we want is the player so let's create a public variable which is a game object and let's name this player and let's enter this later so we want to enter the player dot transform right here so now if we go back to our program so we have an error right here let's see oh we forgot to save the script okay so let's go back to Unity. So see no pro. See you see that there's no error. So you can now add. So we know that the enemy is looking in the right direction. So let's add a cube right here. Let's make it smaller. And let's put it at the head of player so we can see where they're looking at. Like that. Okay. So let's run the program. Oh wait, we forgot to assign the. Um, the script to it. Okay, so let the enemy system right to the enemy, and the player we want to look at is right here. And also, we need to set the rigid body for the for the enemy so that they doesn't fall off. So let's freeze the X and Z rotation, and let's go. Okay, so now you can see that it start looking at us. You can see that by the cube that we just created. And that's perfect. So now let's create our if statement. So if our player detection script dot found, which is the variable that we created, is equal to true, or we can just write it like this. We want to do so let's so we want to say look at the player and else we want to actually we don't need the else statement for now so let's create a new public variable so actually, let's create a new variable named look at 
So bool look at equal false. So if we found the player, instead of look at the player, we want the look at variable to equal true. And then down here, if look at is equal to true, then we want to start the enemy to start looking at the player. So by doing this, we use the transform dot look at function, which you can see right here. We need to have a target for it to look at, which we want is the player. So let's create a public variable, which is a game object, and let's name this player, and let's enter this later. So we want to enter the player dot transform right here. So now, if we go back to our program, so we have an error right here. Let's see. Oh, we forgot to save the script. Okay. So let's go back to Unity. So see no pro. See you see that there's no error. So you can now add something to make so you know that we are doing the right thing. So we know that the enemy is looking in the right direction. So let's add a cube right here. Let's make it smaller. And let's put it at the head of player so we can see where they're looking at. Like that. Okay, so let's run the program. Oh, wait, we forgot to assign the, um, the script to it. Okay, so let the enemy system right to the enemy. And the player we want to look at is right here. And also, we need to set the rigid body for the for the enemy so that they doesn't fall off so let's freeze the x and z rotation and let's go okay so now you can see that it start looking at us so by you can see that you can see that by the cube that we just created and that's perfect so if the enemy is looking the player and the player gets out of range, we want to approach the enemy to approach the player. So if while look at not found, so we need to access the player detection. So player detection dot found, and so now we want to move in the direction towards the player, and to do that we will use the rb dot rigidbody dot add force function and to use that function we need to get the rigid body of our enemy first so our rigid body rb and then let's create a start method and it and let's set rb equal to get components rigid body all right and so now we are going to rb dot add force so we want to add a speed variable here as well. So public speed or float speed equal to, for example, 100 or 10 if you want. And let's also get a multiplier so we don't have to change the speed too much. Public float multiplier equal 10 and so rb dot add force we want to multiply it by speed multiply it with our multiplier multiply with time dot delta time and finally multiply with vector 3 dot toward move towards oh wait exactly we should be transformed forward because we want to it to be moved in the direction of the enemy okay so now we also need to see if the, to prevent the player from moving too fast or too slow we will need to have a speed limit so for now i'll create a public float speed limit and i put it equal to two so now let's set our draw b dot velocity which is also the speed of the player to a variable so vector three velocity or just vel for short will be equal to rb dot velocity and now we will add a statement another if statement so if our vel dot x is greater than negative 2 
and our val dot x is smaller than two. So this will keep it in the middle, so it doesn't go too fast in any direction. So and val dot z is greater greater than negative two, and val dot z is great smaller than two. And this should work. By so let's check it by going back to our Unity, start the program, and now if we start moving away and that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed learn something new about uni so we can create a bot that can detect and act on the player in the next video we are going to add some final touch to finish the, our game and thanks for watching and goodbye